All right, y'all wanna y'all wanna call this fellow that won the uh, the car? Yeah, what lucky guy? Timothy from Ohio has won the Camaro. Big thank you to everyone that bought merch and entered the giveaway for the Bristol Camaro. Um, unfortunately, if you have not, if you're not Timothy from Ohio, you didn't win it. We uh, the yeah, yeah Timothy. the Timothy from Ohio. So we're gonna give him a call. He already knows he won it. We couldn't. The law firm had to contact him first. All that. Um, but we are going to call him and uh, see when he's going to come get this thing. Hello? Timothy. Hey. Hey, this is Jonathan Joyner from Hunt the Front. Hey, how's it going? All right, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Uh, you, want a, you want a Camaro? Yes, sir. <laughs> I do believe I did. <laughs> All right, well, we got it down here for you, and they, they're telling us that it's yours. You're the winner, and... Uh, you got a you got a nice fine Camaro pace car with your name on it down here. Well, it ain't literally got your name on it, but it's yours. <laughs> Hell yeah! I hope you have a lot of fun in it, and uh, we can we can verify that it will do a burnout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been I've been showing people that video. Of you guys burning it out. I'm like. <laughs> It'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you very all right. much. All right, buddy. Thank you. Now let's go do a burnout. <laughs> let's go burn it down one more time. That was Timothy. He won the car, and uh, congratulations to him. And thank you all again for um, for uh, buying merch, getting registered, and hopefully we'll do it again sometime soon. We'll see. Stay tuned on that. With who knows what? Who knows what? Maybe a race car this time. Yeah. Hey, that looks like a race car again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it Sushi Wednesday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also put Jesse's race car back together and get ready to go race it day as well. Uh, that, that takes more than a day. <laughs> <laughs> and thirdly, it is pull this engine out of Joey's car day and send it back to South Carolina. Which is very seldom a good day. No, but I don't know. I don't know how you, it's, you know, it's bad, but it could have been a lot worse. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, we would have preferred to not be doing it though. Yeah, but but in the grand scheme of things, you know, you understand what I'm saying. Like, it's hard to complain given the situation. Yeah. So we are coming off of the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series. Uh, second tour, second season opener at Talladega Short Track, the Bama Bash, where we took Leghorn here with the Clements engine as our primary car and ended up breaking the oil pump belt on it and having to pull out foghorn with the dell engine to uh to, to finish up the night took a provisional started dead last in 26 and ended up 18. over here though on the clements engine what it was let me get a light where's the light all right now that we can see there's supposed to be a belt there's right there there's right pieces there. of belt yeah. and the belt broke it and quit the car. I think that's the first time I've ever had that happen. I had happened to me one time when I was, you know, back racing super long, long time ago. And we know all about the old trick of hanging a belt in there and looping it over there and rocking and rolling right on with your uh, with your oil, new oil pump belt on it. We just are electing, we're not going but, to put it, but. We've also decided we think that's dumb. <laughs> No, no. It's not that we think anybody's dumb that says that or does that. It's just we're not going to do well, that. Right. Here's why. Right. If your belt comes off, it means you, you lost oil pressure. Yes. If you lost oil pressure, there could be a problem. And likely to be a problem. Catastrophic. In catastrophic. Nature. And these things cost too much to be to risk that. Right. So in our situation, we have a whole other car over there. We're already going to be in the back. Yep. Um, you know, we just get it out, and, and I do appreciate. Hey, if I, we would have run this car, we could have started twenty second. Yes, no twenty third. Twenty third instead of twenty sixth. If you'd have run this car, yeah. anyway, we know all about the having a belt in there and all that stuff. It just isn't worth it to risk it on a fifty thousand dollar engine. Uh, your best case is to uh, get it out of there and get it back to your engine builder. In this case, Clements, and get new uh, you, you bearings can do put in. Whatever it. you want to do. So we. Right. But we appreciate the, I guess my point in all that is we know, we know we could have a belt in there and it could be real easy to put another one on. We're just, we're not gonna, we're not even going to put one in there. That way we're not even tempted to do it. With that all in mind, here's the situation on this engine. We are pulling it out, pulling it right up on out of here. 
And it is going to Clements House Power Racing Engine, Spartanburg, South Car uh, Carolina. Um, right here in just a minute. And they're going to put bearings in it, right? They're going to pull the old pan off and look at it. Right. And they said that they've had this situation happen tons and tons of times. Right. And there's been one situation, didn't tell me who or when or what, but there was one time that they pulled the old pan off and put it back on and didn't need, didn't need to put bearings so in it. So in all likelihood, yeah. this thing's going to, it's not coming apart, just taking the old pan off, putting bearings in it, and we're going to bring it back and rock and roll. All tech will be the next time we run it. For a not substantial amount of money. Yeah, yeah, for a lot cheaper than a rebuild. For a lot cheaper. Or, or having to buy a new one if you, you know, stick a bearing and blow this thing up. That'd be bad. I've been seeing a lot of comments on YouTube wondering why I'm not around as often and, and something like that. Where's Jesse? And the reason being is, is He just doesn't like work. <laughs> 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 That's not where I was going with that. <laughs> I was saying it before Joseph. But <laughs> okay. I think I might need a. <laughs> okay. All right. Back to back to what you were saying. So I haven't been around as much in the shop lately because I've been live streaming. Did you let me talk? <laughs> you can catch me live streaming most days of the week and most nights of the week either on Twitch at the Front Gaming or here recently I'm now live streaming over on YouTube so for all you YouTubers that just will not go to Twitch you can also follow along Hunt the Front Gaming on YouTube. Come we'll, check it out. We'll leave a the link. Leave, leave a link in the description, yes. and we'll uh, we'll have one at the end of this video. You can just click the screen and go to one of Jesse's oh, live YouTube streams and, and yeah. check him out gaming over there. So that's why I'm not here as much because I've been really yeah. he's playing blinding. video games. That's what's going on. I'm making it sound bad. <laughs> Show. Show. I'm on racing Saturday. Oh, yeah. That was my next point of interest here. There is a, there's a reason they put and been working on Jesse's car over there. And it ain't to sell it. Oh, it's not to sell it. Like we did. We, uh, you know, got an old off weekend with the Hunt Front Super Dirt Series. Not a whole lot going on super late model wise. Well, I mean, that worked well. well I don't know with the weather up north. Yeah, no. yeah. They might all cancel. Anyway, or freeze out. We're not super racing. So that being said, you guys should be at Brownstown. One of our local, one of our local racetracks is having their season opener. And Jesse's gonna and be I'm there. I'm gonna go kick the, You're gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Be there. <laughs> Attempting to We're kick try. but We're gonna go try. So this car will be in action. Old Gator Bait will be back racing as Deep South Speedway over in Loxley, Alabama. About, what is it, about an hour from us? Yeah. A little more, a little yeah. something like that. Uh, it's their season opener. It was actually supposed to be, um, I believe, a couple weeks ago, but uh, weather affected that and had to postpone that. So their season opener will be Saturday. Jesse's going to be there running in the 604 division. Uh, there at Deep South, and that'll be our first time over there. I don't know that we went over there last year, so we got an opportunity to race local uh, here, support one of our local tracks, and uh, get Jesse some laps here in Faithful. So that's what we're gonna do this weekend. So we'll be over here after we get this motor out. We'll be over here trying to get this thing finished up as well. This side here was perfect, man. It's glued. It's stuck. Put you on. Well, they ain't been on there a week. Yeah, but it's no. still good. <laughs> yeah, it, they could have made it all year, mm -hmm. what you're saying. Look at that. Got it? Good work. So that's a piece of belt I see on there. So. That, little, that little piece of yeah, rubber just he's moving around. Yeah. Sadly, not enough to burn them. No, well, it's got a loop around the other. So the belt goes around that gear there. What's the word I'm looking for? Pulley. Pulley, thank you. And then you can see it. We'll look at it, but the flywheel, we'll show you when you get out, for those of you that don't know, also has a built-on. Is that the word for that also, pulley? And when the... Well, it's just the flywheel. Right. But yeah. when the crank turns, you're also turning the oil pump, which is pumping oil. But when the belt breaks... You ain't pumping no oil, no, you're not. which is detrimental to Simple the health physics. of your engine. 
Simple physics. You got it? <laughs> need you need my knees, my <laughs> You need some help? You got it? I'm off. Are you okay? You good? See, that's why we make you do the hard stuff when you are here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get, your, get the full experience. Oh, talking about it's kind of tied up. Oh. Wow, <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm gonna get it wound up in itself. Well, I mean, you gotta think this thing's turning pretty, uh, pretty quickly. So, you when know it, what 5,000 RPMs means means 5,000 revolutions per minute, right? That's how many faster, that's how fast it was turning. <laughs> <laughs> Here, stretch it out. There that's you the go. No, it ain't. No way. Hey, think about no. how big, yeah. That's the whole thing, you think? No, some of it laying in the track. Yeah, it had to be. We got another, we got, the, the we got one handy somewhere. Because listen, when you cut the belt in half, it certainly is not this long. That's that's not the whole belt. There's no I way. Love it. That's some of it. A substantial, a substantial of portion of it, but it's not. We'll get. We'll grab another one in a second. Anyway, there's the other piece I was talking about. Here, belt goes around flywheel and then up to the the pump, the pulley on the pump. Turns, turns the pump, pumps your oil. Belt broke. No more oil pumping through the engine. You gonna get it? I don't know. Oh! Yeah, it. I'm gonna get it. What kind of question is that? <laughs> I don't know. It might have got him. <laughs> yeah, it did surprise me. Come on. Come on. Come on back. Come on back. There we go. Yeah. Dude, this truck is called hell here, lately. Not the deer that The deer that it. you clobbered? Oh, no. We talked about it on the podcast, oh, I think. Yeah. Is that what it was? Deer it was clobbered. a deer, I swear to God. <laughs> they probably still blood on it. There is. Right here. There's blood splatter. We well, can confirm Jesse, in fact, got hit by a deer. He didn't hit a uh, tree or something. That looks like that stop sign paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's tree sound. Yeah. Uh, so another little interesting story. On the way back from Northwest Florida Speedway with the IMCA clash on the coast, Jesse got hit by a deer that started right here and worked its way all the way back. Got, he, you got every piece on the right side, both the fender, both doors, and the bed. Anyway, so yeah, the, the dually's been through heck. But luckily though, that was pulling the merch trailer. Luckily though, this this bounced the deer out of the way. It did not hit the merch trailer. Yeah. Well, torn up or not, it's going to be able to get this motor to South Carolina. He's for peace of mind. I hope so. All right, come on now. All right. Bag up, dude. So Jordy's heading out with this thing. Plan is to drive through the night, get there. Pretty quick process, hopefully. If everything's good when they take the oil pan off, they'll get him fixed up and uh, put back together and he can get right on back with it and uh, be a That's quick trip. Good, huh? It looks good. good. I piece. think you got it, Jesse. <laughs> what we got over here? What, what all? Let's yeah. start with what all was bent. Well, what, what bent? <laughs> I know the tie rod. It looked hey, the what? The frame was not bent. <laughs> it looks straight. Okay, so we worried about the frame horns here. I mean, I thought it looked fine, but the hit, we did take a hit up front here. But the good news is a different nose fit right in, which leads one to conclude that it's just straight, you know, or as straight as it was. Uh, but did the last time Jesse raced this was it, was it Southern Raceway, um, the winter shootout deal there where he um, qualified second in his group, starting on the front row of a heat, broke power steering, uh, line came off. So DNF and his heat started back of the feature and had worked his way to trying to pass Joseph and getting to the top 10, and they wrecked in front of him. They wrecked. So that was what happened last time this thing raced. A lot of body work happened. 
uh, last couple of days, and uh, we had to trade uh, change the front end parts and with some bent stuff there. But I think I think we're gonna be in good shape, ready to go yeah. race at Deep South Saturday night. I know it got the tie rod. The rack was a little bit messed up. So we put a different rack on it. Or yeah. Send send the other one off. Yeah, I'm gonna send the other one off. Put a different rack on it. Uh, ball joint was bent. One or two. Three. <laughs> Three out of four. Three out of four. <laughs> you sure you didn't want to just go ahead and change the fourth uh, one? Just to be safe. Got a good measure. Um, <laughs> you know, and obviously the bumper was torn all the heck. But other than that, though, hey. Other than that, she's good. <laughs> Old faithful. Hey, how many laps did the Clements engine, does it have on it? About 340. 340. So, I know probably some folks going to comment and say, why not just go ahead and freshen it? Because it's still got dang near a thousand laps uh, mm -hmm. left well, on it. For it. And it, that's what that would take up. A lot longer and a lot more money. All right, so I guess we're going to fire this thing up, make sure it still runs. We had taken the carburetor and all that off and now bolted it back on. Get some juice flowing through it once again. Get Jesse pumped up too. Yeah, with it. Mike here to thumb. Fire the hole. All right, here we go. What's that all about? What happened? Out of fuel? Oh, we're out of fuel. Yeah. There's Marvel Mystery Oil throughout the line. Oh, you done put Marvel Mystery Oil and everything. That's why it sounded like poop. I see. Got to get that out of it. Get that. We underestimated Jesse's time off, or overestimated. Oh, well, still need Marvel Mystery Oil in it. Oh, yeah, but I've heard just a few weeks. All right, you ready? Try again? Yep. Oh, shoot. All right, now we're ready. Sheesh. Maybe you overdid it on the Marvel Mystery Oil. It tastes like it. It's a mix of E85 and Marvel Mystery Oil. Uh, in comparison to the, what the fuel is supposed to look like. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bit oily. It, hey, you did a fine job lubricating that carburetor, Jordy. Winterized. <laughs> Probably go all winter like that. Mysteries oil out of it for sure. Sounds a lot better. There's no more mystery. A lot of smoke in here though. A lot of smoke. Ain't free. You about ready? Ain't far. Ain't far. Shock Heck spring, yeah. Gear. Got build a hood. Fender and hoods. Okay. And tires. Okay, we will be at Deep South Speedway Saturday night. What's the date anymore? I can't keep up. March 23rd. March tw something right there in there. This upcoming Saturday. The Saturday after most of you all. Are seeing this video Jesse will be a weekly show 604s uh, should be a good field of local guys they're itching to race um, around here got a um, got a lot of guys with some good 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 equipment going into the year um, this season here around around our home tracks so that'll be interesting to see how Jesse stacks up against them and it'll be uh, be our first time racing at Deep South in uh, over a year so see what we can get over there and do with them. as far as the super late models go we uh, Hope to get the Clements engine back. Jordan is heading out with it. And uh, we hope to get it back, right back, set right back in here. We'll keep you all updated on that. But hopefully it's just a, a situation of putting bearings in it and uh, coming right back with it and bolting it right back in here. Uh, all Tech Raceway for the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series in April. Anybody know the dates on that? Uh, 12th and 13th. 12th and 13th. 
April 12th and 13th, All Tech Raceway, Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series, round two and three. That'll be the next time this thing runs. We might do something uh, in two weeks to, uh, between now and then. I, obviously, we'll do something, uh, but I do know for sure April 12th and 13th will be at All Tech Raceway with this thing. Um, we'll see what happens in the meantime. But this weekend, Deep South, Deep South Speedway with that one, Jesse in it. Uh, y'all wish us luck. We're going to need it. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see y'all later. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Check links, Jesse out on Twitch. Links and stuff. For, and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and YouTube. Yeah, yeah. the link's, links right here the somewhere. Thing. The links are right here. Right here. Click, and I'll take you to uh, Jesse's video streaming some, uh, some iRacing right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all later.